Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Albert Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out an absolutely wonderful and very promising looking transport automation game. Uh, it is very, very, very interesting to look at. It's voxely, it's pixely. Uh, I kind of dig it. Anyway, as ever, I'll do my very best to explain what the heck is happening. However, I should note before we jump in, uh, and jump in we shall, uh, that only, according to the YouTube analytics, 18% of you are subscribed. Uh, if you're watching this and you've not subscribed and you're interested in strategy games each and every day of the week, then uh, do consider subscribing. Right, um, with that little uh, with that little bit out of the way, let's go through this little showcase piece and see what we have got in store. So, um, very, very simply, we're going to be flying through this first sort of like introductory level. I mean, most of the, I think all of the levels that we have here are, uh, are introductory. I don't know if there is going to be a sort of free play mode in the main game. I would definitely hope so, because that is the sort of, uh, the sort of gameplay style that I am more interested in from strategy games. So, uh, what have we got here? I've kind of just blown through all of that, but I'm going to break it down. Um, I'm going to break it down very, very shortly indeed. So, uh, over the course of this level, we are going to be unlocking various buildings. Um, we have got a wheat farm over here. We have got a mill. Uh, the mill needs wheat. The wheat farm produces wheat. We link up with a train. We build two stations. We build a little track between, and suddenly, what do you know? Uh, we've got a gorgeous little, a gorgeous little locomotive and uh, and a, what is a, a wheat a wheat cart. A wheat, a, a wheat cart, yeah, a wheat, a wheat car, wheat, wheat carriage, whatever, uh, behind it. Anyway, this game is all about networks. It's all about creating networks, and it's all about making sure that everything is linked up. Uh, so we can build a station within a sort of specific radius, and then it's very much a case of just linking things up and um, and spending spending the money on a uh, on a train. And of course, the world is sort of illuminated as that happens, uh, which is kind of nice. And after we've completed the objective, um, we uh, will be able to unlock brand new brand new buildings, which sort of uh, terraform the landscape, and um, and we can add a whole bunch of stations to them, which is very, very nice indeed, because I like it. I like the fact that the landscape literally sort of colors itself in as we go, uh, which is kind of a gorgeous, uh, which is kind of a gorgeous thing. I do love the sort of vibe that this game has got going on. It's very, very cool. And as we progress through this level, uh, we will start to see, um, we'll start to see some additional features as we go. So uh, yeah, tricky terrain ahead. Indeed, we can get more sort of complicated routes here. Uh, we can set a very sort of specific route around um, around this area. Uh, I would say that we've got our money down in the bottom left-hand corner. Uh, we got a lot of money each and every time we connect up a resource, um, which is what we've done, what, three times now. Uh, we get 70 bucks. I don't think that this is a very profitable enterprise, strictly speaking, because we are spending more than 70 bucks to get, uh, you know, two stations at each end, costing 50 bucks a piece, and, uh, and also the whole sort of, you know, track as well. So, I don't strictly think that we're breaking even uh, with regards to our corporate overlords. However, that doesn't really seem to matter. Uh, right, so let us unlock a brand new production chain and see what we have got going on. So we have got the dairy farm, which produces milk, produces two milk, uh, and the cheesery, uh, which doesn't actually sound like a real industry, but apparently it is. I'm reliably informed that a cheesery does indeed exist. Um, it consumes milk, consumes one milk, which is... Uh, uh, which is fantastic. Right, so let us get down a station here, and then let's do a station over uh, here. We don't actually strictly have to utilize both of the tracks. Uh, if we if we place down the tracks in the red zone, there'll just be a little buffer at the end there. Nothing too major uh, to worry about there, and I don't really imagine that we're going to need these two tracks over here either, so we can, we can just sort of leave that. Now, we can build a bridge if we want to. Uh, a bridge is obviously gratuitously expensive and not something that I'm particularly interested in uh, in endorsing. So we are, of course, just going to go for uh, a good old normal Good old normal bit of track. Uh, but yeah, this is looking good. And uh, again, we're just sort of going through the motions of seeing exactly what happens with uh, with different sort of station utilization, um, different sort of station utilization uh, methods. Now, this is the interesting one. We've got a cheesery right in the corner over here, tucked away. And then we've also got a dairy farm and a dairy farm. No, that's not a dairy farm. That's a cheesery over there. So here's what we're going to do. Um, and this is where I think the... Uh, 
the sort of uh, the network features of this game will make themselves quite apparent. Uh, we'll get ourselves a station over here and over here, and we'll also get ourselves a station over here. However, what we are going to do is we are going to connect up. We're going to connect up this cheesery to this network over here. On the cheap, I must say. Uh, and what's going to happen is that the train, instead of doing, you know, the entire network is going to drop its it's going to drop its bits and bobs off here, and then this train is going to take the resources to here, and then as long as we're able to link up this one and this one to here, uh, then we should be we should be fine. That's going to cost me forty seven bucks. I would rather not. Let's go for something a little bit cheaper. Freight train over there, and to be honest, we could just literally connect that up. There's no reason not to connect that up because that will actually work in a nice sort of fluid way uh we have we have saved the world we have filled we have filled all the color back in so yeah this is a fairly simplistic way of looking at things um we're going to jump into the next level here uh and we are going to start to get a little bit more technical i think that's a really nice sort of introductory level again it's a demo it's here to showcase um, it's here to showcase exactly what the heck is happening uh, in the game. It's not here to sort of test the boundaries of uh, what the heck, you know, what the heck we can build in, you know, a tiny little demo level. Right. Uh, bonus challenges. End the level with at least 200 bucks left. And special challenge use a total of six cards. Right. So we are going to get ourselves, we're going to get ourselves acquainted with cards now, which is quite nice. Uh, cards, very simply, allow us to apply a modifier to, you know, something, some part, some part of the world. Um, in this case, cheap rails. Rails cost half the regular price. Bridge price is unchanged. Consumes card on use. Indeed, that is true. So let's get ourselves, well, first of all, let's actually look. So the cheesery needs milk and produces cheese. The dairy farm produces milk, needs nothing. And likewise up here. Okay, so I think we're going to start with the dairy farm in the middle and work, work backwards. Right. So I, I kind of want to keep my options open because I'm not sure where the where the other buildings are going to spawn. Uh, I think I'm going to use cheap rails for this mission here. There we go. And that's going to cost us 45 bucks, which I believe is half the price. Yeah, half the price of normal. Uh, yeah, so if we were to build a bridge, the bridge would be the normal price. Whereas we can see the, the highlighted green price is uh, is half of what we would expect to pay if we did not have cheap rails enabled. Let's build that, we'll get that built. We will connect up the the resource, which gets us 70 bucks, which is quite nice. You'll note, by the way, that we start with a lot less money on this uh, specific level. So we are incentivized to, uh, you know, to, to not spend a whole load. Let's actually go here. Yeah, let's go there. Uh, just in case we need to utilize either of these two slots. Maybe should have used the outside the outside tracks, but it doesn't necessarily matter altogether too much. Right, what have we got? New buildings unlocked. Let's add the buildings. Let's see what we have to deal with. That looks interesting. And we also get ourselves some new cards as well. A cheap bridge card. Okay, I like it. I like it. I like it. What have we got going on here? We got a wheat farm. Produces wheat. The mill needs wheat. And the bakery needs flour, which we get from the mill. Okie doke. Okay, that is very, very, very interesting indeed. So, I think the best way to go about doing this uh, is with a bridge. I think that is fairly sort of obvious. Fairly obvious indeed. Let's try and min-max this a little bit. We'll try and get our stations as far away from the buildings as we possibly can and still have them within range. Let's also just make sure that that is angled appropriately so that if we need to connect this to the rest of our network at some point in the future, we can do. Uh, we are going to go for cheap bridges and we're going to do that. That is going to be an absolute steal. I got to be honest. Can we activate two cards at once? We, we actually could. We actually could. That would cost me 63 bucks versus 83. You know what? I think I'll actually just take the hit. Yeah, use a cheap bridges card. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. Or root rails around crypt, uh, cliffs by using anchor points. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I'm I'm using a cheap bridges. I'm using a cheap bridges card specifically for this reason. And then let's actually get outside to outside. 16 bucks. That seems like a pretty good deal to me. All things considered. Yeah, very, very, very happy with that. We do still need to utilize six cards, if you can recall. And we do still need to try and finish with over 200 bucks in the bank. Right, let us see what additional production chains we have got here. We've got a dairy farm, and we've got a city. Okay, now we're talking. Needs bread, needs milk, 
needs cheese. Uh, well, we've got most of those things, I think. Let's actually see if we can try and get... I want to try and angle this in such a way. This is a fairly easy one to do because the the uh, the bread can be sort of traced all the way back. Um, in fact, yeah, let's activate cheap rails for this because I think this is probably going to be the most the most long the most long route. I think the dairy farm produces milk. This city needs milk. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be the one to do to do the, the card on. Maybe. Um, now, the other thing that I'm going to try and do is, of course, I need to get a station over here. And then this is a very simple case of just connecting that up. Beautiful. That looks very, very nice. And then this is probably going to be similarly expensive. 71 bucks. Again, we're able to connect up a resource, so we get 70 bucks back. Doesn't work out being too prohibitively expensive, but yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's probably the best configuration. Let's see what cards we've got. Wow, three cards. Okay. Cheap bridges, cheap bridges, and cheap rails. Where the heck are these buildings gonna go? Right. They're all going to go up on this big old plateau up here, which I'm less than enamored about. Right, that dairy farm is almost going to certainly have to supply that city, bakery, flour, mill, and then a wheat farm over here. Right, 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 right. So there is a route. There is a route. There is a route to making this happen. Uh, the thing is, is that I need to use these. I need to use these cards. I need to use these cards. How many buildings have I actually connected up? I've connected up six out of 12 buildings, which means that I could probably do with probably do with being attuned to the fact that I don't have an unlimited amount of time to spend all of these cards. Not a major consideration, I'll grant you, but it's just a consideration nonetheless. Uh, I don't think that there is a penalty for... I don't think there's a penalty for destroying a building, or moving a building, should I say. Uh, you know what? I actually don't like that. I don't like that as a position. I want to spend... I want to spend this. Uh, I want to spend these two cards. I want to spend these two cards, and that is going to be on purpose. Right, let's get this over here. You know what? I'm okay with these. I'm okay with these tracks being in that configuration. Let's go cheap bridges, and let's get that up there. Perfect. To be fair, that's not much of a bridge at all. It's blocked. That's fine. Go cheap bridges. And actually go cheap rails too. Bend too tight. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine. And it guarantees that we complete the challenge like right now, which is great. I'll draw the cards just in case there is anything that comes out of it. Doesn't look like there's anything too crazy there. These are super cheap and they're actually going to give me way more. Way more. And I tell you what, in fact, that was all the stuff that we needed to connect up, which uh, is pretty darn nice, if I do indeed say so myself. I really didn't figure that the dairy farm, the dairy farm station was going to be the linchpin in everything. Uh, but apparently it is. Well, there we go. We've completed all of the building objectives. We completed the fun challenge and we completed the special challenge as well. And we had a whole bunch of money left at the end of the day. Which is not too bad, if I do indeed say so myself. Right. Okay, what do we got? Complete all 18 buildings, end the level with at least 850 bucks. Create a railroad that on completion immediately connects four resources. Wow. Okay, that's going to be a slightly more... A slightly more interesting challenge. Right. When a, when a new railroad supplies multiple buildings at once, you get extra money. This requires planning ahead. First connect the mill to the city and then connect the buildings to the mill. Right. I see. Okay. So we can sort of chain it up backwards. Heavy freight train. Goods make 50% more money. And we've got cheap rails again. Okay. What do we got going on here? Let me press the tab button and see what we have got. So we got the city that requires bread, milk, and cheese. We got the mill that requires uh, wheat. Uh, right, okay, and then we got the bakery and the wheat farm basically sort of right next door to one another. Uh, this should be 
possible if we sort of connect everything up if we connect everything up immediately right um just because of the fact that i'm gonna try and do this yeah i'm gonna try and make sure that this is accessible from all sides that seems very very important let's get this over here uh, actually, let's maybe move this to the side just in case I need to get it running off the running off the edge. Uh, we will get we will get this over here in a sort of similar configuration unless times times are tight. Uh, we should be able to get we should be able to get all that connected right. So I need to connect up the mill to the I need to connect up the bakery. Oh god, I need to connect. I need to connect up everything. I need to connect up everything without without ruining everything here. Right. Good. So that is not going to supply anything. Excellent. And that is that is fine. And then this is going to connect up not quite four resources, but I think it's going to connect up three. Which is fine. Let's go there and there so that we can still have the option. Right. A heavy freight train. Goods make 50% more money. I mean, I think we'll just go for a standard train. That's fine. Right. We got a stack bonus there, which is unbelievably huge. Holy cow. That's crazy. Um, That wasn't quite the four that we were required to get, though. So that is something that we're going to have to keep in mind. Now, um... Okay, we can unlock cards if we make a little bit more profits, and we're going to be able to unlock the next level of buildings right now. Okay, dairy farm, cheesery. So, I need to link up... I need to link up the... I need to link up that first. Yep. Yeah. And then I need to link up this over here. Surely I'm not going to regret dead-ending that. That's fine. Okay, that's going to be a three-banger as well. Love to see it. I feel like... No, I just... I don't want... I want to hold on to this. I feel like it's too good. Either way, we get another sickeningly good stack bonus, which is very, very nice. What's the last thing that we need to get? We don't need to get anything else for the city. The city is is completely content at the moment. We're still fine with the fun challenge. We still got a little bit of time left. Cheap rails, cheap bridges. Love to see it. Let's see what the new building is. Right. Dairy farm. Dairy farm, cheesery, and city. Yeah, okay. So we can connect up the... We can connect it all up at once, actually. What did we do last time? We connected the cheesery to the city. Yeah, we connected the cheesery to the city. Let's make sure that's a double, a double whammy. That's fine there. And... This can go over here. You know what? Let's do... Let's do cheap bridges and cheap rails. That's the dairy farm. Hold on. That's not what I want to do. I want to do... I want to do this connection first. Keep it simple. Good. And then we'll do... Actually, let's do the outside connection. Make sure those are both activated. And I think, honestly, the better way is to go... Is to go up here. That's direct at 52 bucks. What about this here? That's 37 bucks. And that would mean that I wouldn't have to activate cheap bridges. And honestly, there's probably a way that we can... Yeah. I mean, it's penny pinching, sure. But like 36 bucks is pretty nice. Okay, let's do that. And I think I'm going to do a heavy freight train. In fact, actually... Does it really matter? Look, You know what? Let's do a heavy freight train. I think that we're going to be... Um, I think that we're going to be... Uh, Nice. Okay, so we got that heavy freight train bonus right there. That is pretty sick. I have a funny feeling that we are now going to just get given another city, and then we're going to get given all of the inputs, and we're going to have to get it all sort of figured out. Yeah, I think we're going to get lots of buildings here. Okay, I mean, not quite as many buildings as I was anticipating, but that's fine. 
Uh, this is a nasty, this is a nasty journey that we're going to have to take here. We're going to have to connect something up. Right. Yeah. Okay, cheap rails. Ah. Cheap rails and cheap bridges. How much is that? 65 bucks? Kinda... Kinda ruined myself here. Is that really the best play? 94 bucks in total because we're having to build a $65 bridge. I mean, relatively speaking, it doesn't sound like it's that atrocious, but... Yeah, okay, you know what? Maybe let's ignore that problem for a little while. Uh, instead, let's see if we can try and get this area fixed over here. Maybe there's a moral of the story. Like, always make sure you've got plenty of um, accessibility. Right. That is going to definitely warrant a cheap... A cheap, uh, a cheap construction. There is no, there is no way to sort of snake this through the. Fifty-five bucks. You know, that's actually is that actually cheaper? I think that is legitimately cheaper than. Fifty-five. If I was to. It's actually legitimately cheaper. How? Unbelievably crazy is that. The problem with doing this, the problem with doing this is that we're going to fill this slot here. You know what? Screw it. Let's do it. Okay, no bridges on route. That's fine. Um, unfortunately, I can't activate cheap bridges twice because if I could activate cheap bridges twice, then I think I would actually do it for what I'm about to do. Please forgive me for what I'm about to do, video game. $105. That is... So sad. That is so sad. Cheap rails as well? I mean, it brings it down to a slightly more palatable 84. There is no, there is no saving grace for this, is there? This is a nasty, this is a nasty bit of infrastructure, and it's entirely down to the fact that I didn't, you know, keep that free. 65 bucks for a bridge. Sure. You know what? Whatever. You only live once, eh? You only live once. Heavy freight train? No. Doesn't feel worth it. Let's do it. Anyway, we'll get ourselves a stack bonus there, which is quite nice. I wouldn't want to be the train driver that's in charge of doing this descent each and every day. That looks truly unbelievably horrific. I mean genuinely can you imagine anything worse? I cannot. Right, heavy freight train, cheap bridges, lots and lots of cheap bridges. What do you got, video game? Right, so this is our real opportunity to get the special challenge done, and also to make an absolutely, like, ridiculously large amount of money. So we basically just want to make sure that nothing is actually connected in the first instance, because if everything is not connected, then then believe it or not, we're better. Right. The bakery needs flour. The mill, where was the mill? Let's go, let's go here. So we basically want to connect the basic inputs last, right? So the basic inputs are the wheat farm over here, the dairy farm over here, and that's it. That's it, because of course the dairy, the dairy supplies milk here and also the cheese. Um, so that's fine. Now, this is going to work out quite nicely, I think. Let's get... Get that there. I think that's a very simple... Is it a very simple equation? 75 bucks versus 50? Yeah, it is a very simple equation. Um... Yeah, okay, so that's, that's still fine. We'll, we'll connect that up in just a second. Let's get the... Let's get a let's get a route set up for the mill here first. Okay. That's simple enough. Okay. Cheap bridge is not used. Oh yeah, I need to 
remember to toggle that off. Not like it really particularly matters, but that's okay. The bakery, uh, I mean, this is a super easy way to just sort of connect that up. 34 bucks, 35 bucks, 34 bucks, that's fine. I'd keep toggling that on, it doesn't particularly matter. Um, cheesery also needs to be connected up. This is going to be a bit of a problematic connection, if I'm not mistaken, unless we can try and... Ugh. I really don't like that. Well, at least we've got a use for our bridge card. That's that's great. That's fantastic video game. I'm super happy with that. Uh, double bridges, really? Okay, well, at least we're going to get our value for money on the cheap bridges card. I hate that so much, but it's necessary. Okay, we're going to do it. Right. Right. Okay, and then... How do I do this? So, when we do this, we need to supply... Cheese and milk at the same time. I think this'll... I think this'll work. If we, if we connect up milk, then I think this'll work. I think this'll work. Um... I mean, if I was to connect up wheat first... Actually, tell you what, this is a nice little... Nice little route there. Does that connect things up? No, I tell you what, it doesn't, because this network isn't connected to this network. Huh. Okay, very, very cool. Let's build that. So, if I was to connect up this network to here what would that get me that would get me two that would get me two connections because the wheat the wheat chain would be totally fulfilled and what about this one over here that would get me one because only that is fulfilled but if i was to connect this up to here somewhere like hypothetically i know that that is like ridiculous actually is it ridiculous? It's maybe not ridiculous at all. So we've got this like two network system that I think we're going to be able to capitalize on here. That's actually super good. So that's not going to make any connections at all. That is great. The route that this milk is going to take, by the way, is whack. It's going to go here to here to here to here to here to here. And then I'm going to connect this up to this one probably. So it's going to go here, 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 here. Here, here, <laughs> and the distance that it needs to travel is just that. Uh, so that is crazy. That is absolutely crazy, uh, but that is fine. Right, so if I get this built up, this is not going to... It's going to fulfill milk, but it's going to fulfill nothing else. I think that's what we want. Okay, okay, get that set up. Yeah, yeah, it just supplies milk. That's okay. But now everything is connected, everything is on the network, and all we need to do is join the join the two networks together. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. That is that is what I'm talking about. Okay. Let's go here. Again, you know, we can't call it we we need to make sure that we're constantly economizing. I am gonna make sure that I get my value for money on this heavy freight train. Thinking back about it now, I probably should have used it a little bit earlier, but that's fine. Okay. Let's see how much money we get here. Hallelujah. Okay, we need to get, like, more than 500 bucks. Is it enough? It's enough! Oh, my lordy. We, we absolutely smashed past that limit there. That is pretty fantastic. And we get ourselves some extra cards. Holy cow. Uh, that was really, really good. That was really, really good. That was really, really close. I did figure that it would be right up until the very end that we had to... That we had to get that special challenge uh, sort of completed. But that was great. That was really, really good. I am excited to see where this one goes. That's it for the little uh, the little preview that we've got. All aboard, bring gorgeous voxel art world to life through trains. I can't wait. Explore a variety of levels, biome each offering unique gameplay mechanics. Challenge yourself with optional tasks. 
just give me a free play mode video game. If I can get a free play mode to do that all day without the pressure of a level system, I would be so unbelievably happy. I really can't wait. Um, that is Station to Station, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a lovely little game. Can't wait to see where it goes. Uh, do subscribe to the channel if you're interested in checking out the game when it's, um... When it releases, when it releases fully at some point in 2023. But for now, and for me, check out the Patreon if you're interested in helping make videos like this possible. I'll see you next time. Bye.